So I tend to be quite systematic when it comes to uh, identifying weak points and improving my technique. Uh, and so what I thought I'd show you this week is a, a series of six exercises that uh, I do to work on my finger independence when I'm playing three notes per string scales. So uh, the six of them, and um, they're all very similar. Uh, they're all very straightforward as well. So if I just run through them, the first one is, uh, it's basically a three note cluster that I play across all six strings and I play it like this. So the cluster is just this. It's the first note, the second note, and the third note on each string. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And then I come back playing the same cluster. Uh, so I'll play it through just like this. And so you might have noticed on the on the bass string, there's a in between each group, I play that bass string twice. Um, there's a simple reason for that, and that's just purely because I want an odd number of notes in a phrase. Uh, and the reason for that is that I like to have my left and the right hand, at the the phasing of the fingers working in, uh, working against each other. So. So for example, if you've got an odd number of notes and you're using a pick and you're doing alternate picking, then the first time round that phase, you'll start with a downstroke, let's say, but the second time round, you'll start with an upstroke. Um, and the same for me, the first time round the phrase, I'd start with my thumb, the second time I'd start with my third finger, then second, then first. So it forces me to try every combination of left and right hand fingering, that's all. So that's the first one. The next one is a is very similar. This time the the numbers are one three two. So I go one three two. And so that's that's that one. And then I start with my second finger, the third third one. So this time I'm playing the notes two, one, three. So that's that. And then two, three, one. And then start with the third finger this time, three, one, two. And then finally, three, two, one. And that's it. It's a great exercise if you've got a metronome because you can just set it to a particular beats per minute and see if you can play through all of them cleanly. If you can't, well, that's the thing that you need to work on. So give it a go and see how you get on and we'll chat next time. Goodbye.